All right, guys. This is Ducky's cage inside. And she has started to outgrow her current hides. She's not in here at the, right now. She's actually out in the garage. Hey, buddy. Yeah. We're going to clean the cage. All right. Uh, so anyways, she's outgrowing her hides. And these log hides are historically uh, not great for ball pythons. I didn't actually have it in there as a hide. I just had it as extra decoration, extra animation. Uh, but it wasn't necessarily a hide. This was her hide. And this is her hide. She was definitely outgrown this one. She's starting to come out of the sides. So what we're going to do is we're going to modify this one into two functional hides. I got an idea. We're going to try out. Get some scrap wood in the garage. Um, just to go over her setup. Uh, we had her on Reptibark. Stayed really dry. Kind of hard to get the humidity right. Switched her over to Coco, which is a lot cheaper because I buy in the blocks and easier to keep the humidity right. Uh, we got a ceramic heater. I think it's a hundred watt and use this uh, thin plastic stuff. Sell it at Home Depot for about 20 bucks a sheet. They come in four foot by eight foot sheets. It's like a plastic material. You can just cut it with scissors or whatever. And I just trimmed it to fit to hold in some of that humidity and heat. Help manage the temperatures. Um, so we're going to, again, modify this. Turn it into two hides that are appropriate for a ball python. We'll talk about that later. And we're going to, uh, I think I have some vinyl. Some black vinyl. And I'm probably going to wrap the ends with black vinyl just to create a little bit more of an enclosure type thing. I would do one side, but this is the kid's playroom, and I do want them to be able to see the snake. It's their pet. So, uh, anyways, all right, so let's head into the shop. All righty, guys. There's the lady of the hour. Hi, Dougie. How are you? She is a pastel spot nose, ball python. And she's super sweet, super, super sweet. And she has no water. She's just in there for 30 minutes while I'm working on this project. But here is that hide we were talking about. Now, ball pythons do not like hides like this. Reason being, it's got an open end on both sides. So there's nowhere for them to sit and feel comfortable. Uh, typically, ball pythons like to go into a hole, turn around, face the exit, and they feel like they can't be cornered, they can't be trapped from behind. They have control over this environment, which makes them feel comfortable. Something like that. I don't know. But the gist of it is, this has two entry points and it needs to have one so what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this because it's already way bigger than what we need and i'm going to try to rip it right down the middle with a saw and we're going to add uh i was going to say we'd add two sides so we're going to take one half add a side and then add an end cap and then do the same thing with the other half so that way uh, I could put one, in, one hide on one end of the tank, the other hide on the other end of the tank. Um, one on the hot side, one on the cold side. But I don't know if that's going to work. Let me think. What I'm thinking about is the fact that the, uh, the, the aquarium is only so wide. So we won't be able to uh, put it lengthwise along the end of the aquarium. 
so it'll have to be kind of like in a one in a corner of the aquarium facing the length yeah all right well let's just rip it in half and figure it out as we go all right split our wood here drilling out this log but uh, no worries we'll put that in the corner so this is the end that we're going to enclose and then we'll use the nice clean end to uh, let her come and go uh, just some quick details you see a little screw set in there uh, what we're using is a 3 16 drill bit, just a regular wood drill bit to pre-drill holes. Uh, this is 3 8 plywood. So we're going about 3 16 off the edge. We were gonna do three spots. We ended up just doing two, not a big deal. And then the screws I'm using are six by one and five eighth, just regular drywall screws, nothing fancy there. So because we're not attaching on this end, this could potentially be a little flimsy. It is not, this, just with the two screws, this is rock solid. But uh, having the end cap, which we've already gone ahead, we uh, put it down like this and uh, traced it out. So now this is gonna go right in here and we're gonna screw that down. We're gonna screw it once probably to this side and then probably once, maybe twice on the log side. And this puppy's looking good, almost done. Closed in, and a 
that's it. All right, so now we just gotta finish up the other one and then go try and arrange this in the enclosure. We'll be right back. All right, all wrapped up with this one. Not too bad. Got a little bit of a rough edge here. I'm gonna take my file to it. Just kind of knock off any of this loose uh, debris and kind of sharp corners and stuff. And we're gonna go do a test fit. So, now, check it out. So we have one little cave here that she can get down into. And nice and enclosed. And that's gonna be the hot side with the ceramic heater. I uh, forgot to mention that we do have a uh, heating pad. I think it's a Zoomed heating pad attached to the bottom of this side on a thermostat. I think it's set to about 85, maybe 90 because of the, the, the thickness here. So that temperature doesn't all get through to the snake. Uh, but it puts us at right around 80, 82 on this side, about 90 on this end. Perfect, uh, uh, perfect temperature gradient for the ball python. Um, again, we uh, we replaced our reptile bark, which is kind of a, a dense wood chip, and it's really hard to get to absorb water or like retain moisture. Uh, this cocoa husk stuff is, sorry about jerking the camera around, I'm trying to show you. It's like spongy almost. Like you can just peel it apart in your hand and it holds moisture like indefinitely and it does a really great job okay this feels I, I wetted this and broke it down a week ago two weeks ago and it's still just kind of slightly like you can't wring it out if you tried but it just feels cool to the touch and it just helps hold that humidity in which pairs really well with this nice white cover to again trap that moisture keep it all perfect for her. And then opposite of that one we just talked about is this one, uh, the other half, which I think looks great with this uh, piece of wood I chose. It almost looks like a log. When you look at it like that, it looks like a chopped piece of wood. Really neat. I actually didn't even think it was, I, I kind of thought it was going to look tacky and I was going to have to do something with it, paint it or whatever, but I actually kind of like the way it looks. It looks like natural. Um, and then this is the height, uh, that she's basically outgrown, but she is obsessed with this rock. Every time I put her in this enclosure, she goes straight inside of here. She loves it. Uh, bury it down nice and deep, uh, really close to that heating element so that she can get down and get that belly heat if she wants it, which is basically where she stays. So anyways, now we're going to go ahead and throw our vines back in here just kind of willy-nilly uh, no real rhyme or reason to this just some extra debris for her to creep and crawl around in which she seems to like and we'll go ahead and put the lid back on here da, 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 da. Get it. I'm trying to do this one handed. It's a little tricky. Ta da! Alright. We're gonna go get Ducky. And this did not take long at all. That scrap wood, even if you had gone and bought it, it probably would have cost about $5. Uh, I literally had it sitting around, so it cost me nothing. Hey, sweetheart. What are you doing? All right. Let's go bring you and show you your new house. Do, 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 do.
One more thing, real quick. Have some of this vinyl stuff. It just peel and stick. Something you would put on like a cutting machine and it would cut out patterns. You could stick these on your windows or whatever. Anyways, that they make vinyl stickers out of. Uh, I already put a piece on this side and it came out like crap because I kind of did it in a rush. But uh, just kind of mostly encloses that end. And then I got this other piece, same size. I'm just gonna do the same thing over here. And that is a finished project. She is all hooked up. Humidity is gonna be perfect in here. Temperatures are gonna be perfect with the two heating elements. Two awesome hides, which if you look, she has already wandered into, which is perfect. And that's it. She will be a happy camper. And it looks like she might be trying to find her way back into her old rock. We'll see which one she prefers. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.